F test, two sample, for variances. Using the Microsoft Excel Analysis Tool Pack. The F test is a statistical analysis method used to test the null hypothesis that the variances of two populations are equal. This guide teaches you how to perform an F test with the use of the Excel Analysis Tool Pack. For our specific example, we will use the data from work hours of 6 male workers, and 5 female workers. In this case, here is the null hypothesis, stating that the variances of both are equal. While, the alternate hypothesis says that the variances are not equal. To conduct the F-test, make sure the analysis tool pack is activated in your system. To load the analysis tool pack add-in, execute the following steps. On the file tab, click options. Under the add-ins menu, look below the inactive applications add-ins. Select Analysis Tool Pack and click on the Go button. Then click OK button. When this dialog box appear, make sure to check Analysis Tool Pack tick box and click on OK. Now that the tool pack has been added, you may click on the data tab menu. Then in the analysis group found in the far right side of the menu, you can now click on data analysis tab. After selecting the data analysis tab, the following dialog box below appears. From the choices of different analysis tools, select the F-Test 2 sample for variances, and then click OK. Let us input the data for work hours of the 6 male workers. To do this, click in the variable 1 range box, and select the range cells from A2 to A7. Also, input the data for work hours of the 5 female workers. To do this, click in the variable 2 range box. And select the range cells from B2 to B6. Next, click the output range option button, then click in the output range box, and select cell E1. This provides the location placement of the resulting output. And then click OK. Check out the chart output results. We are provided the mean and variances for both variables. Also, there are results for the F value, F critical, and P value. When comparing variances, it's important to make sure that the variance of variable 1 is higher than the variance of variable 2. This is the case in our example, 76.27 is greater than 10.3. If not, you have to swap your data. As a result, Excel calculates the correct F value, which is the ratio of variance 1 to variance 2 or F equals 76.27 divided by 10.3 equals 7.405. The decision rule is, if F value is greater than F critical one tail, we reject the null hypothesis. Since 7.405 is greater than 6.256, 
Therefore, we reject the null hypothesis. Thus, the variances of the two populations are unequal. Let's have another example. In this case, we will use the data from the results of measurements of the control setup, and experimental setup. Again, the null hypothesis here states that the variances are equal. While, the alternate says that they are not equal. Again, to perform an F-test, execute the same steps as the previous example. On the data tab, in the analysis group, you can now click on data analysis. After selecting the data analysis tab, the following dialog box below appears. From the choices of different analysis tools, select the F-Test 2 sample for variances, and then click OK. Let us input the data for the five samples of the control setup. To do this, click in the variable 1 range box, and select the range cell A2 to A6. Next, let us input the data for the five samples of the experimental setup. To do this, click in the variable 2 range box, and select the range cells B2 to B6. Then, click the Output Range Option button. Next, click in the Output Range box, and select cell E1. This is where the output will be shown. Then, click OK. Check out the chart output results. We are provided the mean, and variances, for both variables. Also, there are results for the F-value, F-critical, and P-value. When comparing variances, it is important to make sure that the variance of variable 1, is higher than the variance of variable 2. This is the case in our example, 16.7 is greater than 16. If not, you have to swap your data. As a result, Excel calculates the correct F-value, which is the ratio of variance 1, to variance 2. Or F equals 16.7 divided by 16 equals 1.043. The decision rule is, if f is greater than critical one tail, we reject the null hypothesis. Since 1.044 is less than 6.388, therefore, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. Thus, the variances of the two populations are equal. Check out other videos from this channel on how to use the analysis tool pack. Descriptive Statistics The T-Test The ANOVA Correlation Regression And many more